calls you pretending to be a sheriff's deputy. Then he tells you to pay up or go to jail, claiming there's a warrant out for your arrest for missing jury duty. This happened over the weekend to a woman in Happy Valley. Our Amy Frazier met with her today. And Amy joins us with this fraud alert. Amy? Jeff, the woman tells me that the call was really upsetting. At first, she didn't know what to think. Now she's warning others about this scam. Hello, my name is Sergeant Zach Miller. This message is for Mrs. Peggy. It started with a phone message. Please give me a call back in my office. On Peggy's landline. With the Clackamas County Civil Division Unit. Yes, ma'am. This matter is urgent. Thank you. As a precaution, Peggy has asked us to protect her identity, but she wants you to know about this scam. I feel violated. From the start, Peggy thought the message Saturday was strange, but she decided to return the man's call. What did he say when he picked up the phone? At first, he was very courteous and said that I had a warrant for my arrest because I had not shown for jury duty and that two warrants were issued in, for me to be arrested and each warrant was $2,450. He told her she needed to drive right away to 807 Main Street in Oregon City to get this taken care of. It's the Clackamas County Courthouse, which among other things is closed on Saturdays. I requested a marked sheriff's office vehicle to show up at my door and tell me that this was legitimate, that there indeed was a warrant for my arrest. And how did the guy respond to that? He became very agitated and very belligerent and started yelling. Still on her landline, Peggy used her cell phone to text her sister and a neighbor for help. She also called the real Clackamas County Sheriff's Office, where they confirmed it was a scam and told her to block the number from her phone. I worried that the elderly are very prone to this kind of scam, and I'd like to prevent it from happening to anybody else. And bottom line, deputies say if something doesn't feel right, feel free to give them a call on the non-emergency number for the sheriff's office to just double check the situation. Back to you. Good advice, Amy. Thank you.